Hey there, Tracy here with another Kendra's Card Challenge video hop for KCC 16. Hi there, I'm so excited. It's time for KCC 16. And today I'm going to be working with sketch number 14. So I'm going to put that down right in front of me just so I can see it. And I've already prepared my papers. And so I've got this piece that I embossed and I'm going to glue this embossed piece down to the uh, card base. And actually that is not a card base. It is a card panel because I'm going to glue this all down to a card base. I have it trimmed down just a wee bit because I like a little bit of outside edge there. Well, we've got quite a bit, but... And then I've got here a, a piece of Black Mirror cardstock that I've covered in some fun foam. And I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down to the center piece right here. So that's going to be our mat layer. That's why I'm not worried about the hot mess there. And then I'm gonna add my string. And I do that a little differently on the second card because I find out that the lumpiness is a little bit difficult to work with. And this is a panel that I created just with a, a stencil from my stash. So um, if you're not familiar with Kendra's Card Challenge, and I know you've heard a lot so far here today um, because you know I'm on 14 and we're all doing our own sketches here. And this is a hop, by the way. And it's also a giveaway hop, so there is a um, form down below, there's a link down below where you can enter to win a digital prize from Kendra. And by the way, make sure that uh, foam is glued down before you start pulling at it. Um, anyway, if you want to play along, all you need to do is go to Kendra's Patreon page and sign up as a patron. There's a free, a free level. And um, then you can download these sketches and print them out and make them for yourself. So I'm adding my little piece here. And this is going to go flat down. And I, this came from a die from my stash that cuts out this little outer border and cuts out the inner piece. So I'm going to glue this directly down here. And that's where I decide the string is kind of a problem right at that spot. But I've got a piece of fun foam that I've attached to the paper and I'm going to glue that down right over the top and right over the top of the string. Then I'll have to re-glue my background. So I ho hopefully you hop along with all the rest of the hoppers here today and um, we're so excited to bring you KCC 16. Great sketches in this one. I'm loving it. And what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of adding something to help hold it down and that's what I was talking about the string kind of being a problem in that position so we're going to do a different position for card number two um now if you if you download and do the cards you can do them one at a time like I'm doing or you can follow the sketches um and the uh, cutting guide and you can cut them out and put them in little bags that's what I do if I'm going to do a series I just put them in little numbered bags so they have all the pieces in the right spots and then carry on from there. Add your own card bases, ephemera, etc. Just want to make sure this is good and stuck down here. And then I've got these little pieces and these little ephemera pieces that I'm going to glue down onto there. I'm going to glue the bat directly down. And then I've got the little pumpkin uh, popped up or going to pop him up on a little bit of foam tape. So let's move that sketch out of the way. And I know sometimes it's kind of hard to see with the shiny, but sorry about that. And I interrupt to bring you my secret passphrase, which is uniquely creative. Uniquely creative is giving away a $20 gift certificate. Use this passphrase when you enter. That is some mirror cardstock. And by the way, if you want your mirror cardstock to be pretty, cut it out on a clean plate or put a piece of paper in between so that your plate doesn't engraved all the designs of everything you've ever cut with it. Okay, get him a little popped up here. This might be my favorite sketch, but there's quite a few. <laughs> quite a few that I really like in this um, KCC 16. So I'm just going to put a block down and see this is the die that cuts both pieces out at the same time. And so as you can imagine, I've got some leftover pieces because I did two different colors. So that's how we can make a second card and why not? So 
I've got another, I've done an orange piece of paper this time. And again, I'm putting the embossed side down, so I'm being very generous with my glue. I'm going to lay that down onto a black matte layer, and that is a solid, is that a mirror one? No, I don't think that's a mirror one. That's a solid flat back, black. Then I'm going to add my string. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. We'll go ahead and put a sentiment on this one in a moment here. Let's find some sentiments. Kind of clean up over here. And I've got this one from my stash. You had me at Boo. And I'm just going to put a couple of little pieces of foam on each end. And then uh, glue the rest down. And this is just some leftover fun foam that I have been using for the project. So a lot of times I like to do and get fun foam versus um, buying a bunch of tiny foam strips and things like that. It's cheaper. <laughs> the uh, Black Mirror card stock, by the way, is from Michael's. There we go. You had me at boo. This card's almost done. All we have left to do is embellishment on that. But let's go ahead and get to the second card. I just want to make sure this is totally stuck down. Yeah, it must be onto mirror because it's not, not sticking. It's a little hard to stick things to mirror cardstock, even though that doesn't look like mirror cardstock. It is, you can tell, actually, by the fingerprints all over it. <laughs> so I've got here, this is a piece of printed. And by the way, um, the print, other than the um, background paper for the first card, for everything else, came from a Kendra's Card Challenge bonus printable. And this is from August of 2023. So if you are a um, VIP member or a, um, what is it, bonus member? Eh, come on, that brain's not working. Anyways, at the second level of membership, you have access to download up to a year's worth of um, bonus printables. Um, at this time, at the time of the recording of this video. So what, see what I did here was I did actually the string, I put it, I put it, made a channel so that the string would sit flat on that part at least. And when you're using string, and this is some rather thick baker's twine. I looked for thin baker's twine, couldn't find any anywhere. I like the looks of this better, but you know, it, it does have its little challenges. But I'm going to work around that. So I've got this piece here, and I have it backed with fun foam. So what I did was I cut the whole, I put the fun foam down on the whole piece and then cut the whole piece out, and so everything's already foamed up. So I'm cutting this one in half, and I'm going to kind of straddle it around because it does have a little loft to it, about the same amount of loft as the string. I'm going to straddle it around the string best I can trim just ever so small bit off so that it's still the right size for the topper portion of it. Yeah, that's perfect. And now I can add foam tape to that, that um, top piece and work around again my baker's twine so I don't have a fight with um, different heights. So notice I'm leaving some areas open here. Let's go ahead and trim that little excess off. So everything you need to know that I probably forgot to tell you is linked down below in the description box. Um, I like to thank Kendra for, again, coming up with an amazing set of 15 sketches. And I hope that you will find the time to join along and enter your sketches and see if you can win one of the thousand dollars worth of prizes from our super sponsors and our sponsors. So today's video is not sponsored by anyone but Kendra because this is our intro hop. I'm just making sure everything's good and stuck down there and then I'll put my little ghost down and he has already popped up on some foam tape. And I'm just gonna get off the excess glue so he's not so slippy slidey. And then I'll put something heavy down on it just to kind of give it a chance to dry. And then I have this fabulous that was also part of the um, bonus printable here that I'm gonna show you here. 
So you get all those printable papers plus printable um, ephemera and sentiments. So very handy to get a quick card done. And I'm gonna do my fit. Now what I did here is I, um, I wanna say I covered that fabulous word in some packing tape and then cut the whole thing out. So that's why it's shiny looking. So you can always do that. Just put some tape over it and then cut it out and you've got a nice shiny little piece of ephemera. And let's go ahead and that's a little lower so I'm gonna put two different sizes, two different blocks on here just so that it has a chance for the glue to take hold. I am using art glitter glue so it does dry pretty quickly. And um, my foam tape, I have some that doesn't have a sticky back. So once that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and add our embellishments and we'll be done. So I've got here, this was uh, one of our past sponsors, Trinity Stamps. I've got some black gems. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the black gems and we'll have two cards done. I'd really like to thank everyone for uh, hopping along and following all of the hoppers. Um, if you like what you see, you know, hope you go visit their channel. If you like what you see, consider subscribing, giving us thumbs ups and all the YouTube things that help us as YouTubers uh, bring more content to you. So here we go. Now I'll go ahead and add my gems. And these ones I'm adding to the outside because obviously they're not going to show up very well on the black. So I've made the same card sketch two different ways. I've got two different cards. Aren't these adorable? I love those little printables. They're so handy. It makes it so quick. Thank you so much, and I hope you'll give us a thumbs up. Take care. Bye-bye.